Hey guys, Paradox Seal here. Welcome back to a brand new video, everybody. This is part 21 of our Making a Discord Bot in Python series. And in today's video, we are going to be making clickable buttons for our Discord Bot. Now, you've probably seen these around on Discord with other bots. Uh, a lot of them use them with their help commands and their about commands and then just, you know, their menus and such. And um, you may see that uh, you can use those buttons to navigate their help command and whatnot. Or you might see some buttons for um, confirming something uh, pretty important. And uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do with them. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to be showing you guys how we can make one and have it send a message to the channel. So uh, to get started, we actually need to do something we never usually do, and that's making a class inside our main file. And uh, to do that, we're just going to type in class, and then we're going to name this test menu button. If you're doing this with a help command, you might just name the class help menu or something. But anyways, inside here, we're going to type in discord.ui.view, like that. And we're gonna make our init function. And uh, should look like this. However, we don't really need this part here. And then for this timeout here, we're just gonna set to none. And then we're pretty much done there. And now we can actually make a button. And to make a button, we're gonna type in at discord.ui.button. And we can pass in a label. And then we're just gonna name this test. And we can give it a color or style. So uh, to do that, we're just going to type in style and then discord.buttonstyle dot and then the uh, color. So there's uh, green, uh, blurple, red. But it's not just colors, there's also uh, a link and then there's a URL if you wanted to have more stuff. Uh, add it to this button so for an example um, this URL right here I think you can pass in like the uh, a string with a URL inside of it and if you click the button it'll take you to that web page but I'm not really gonna go get into that into this video because I'm still sort of new to the buttons so I'm just gonna pick one of the colors here and we're gonna do blurple now if you leave style out of this it'll just default to gray so just keep that in mind. But anyways, we can go ahead and make our um, function here. So I'm just gonna name it some test, pass in self, and then we're gonna pass an interaction as if we were making a slash command. So discord.interaction. And we're gonna pass in button here, and that's gonna be discord.ui.button. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we can go ahead and uh, code whatever we want this button to do, or the bot to do when the button's clicked. And we can just type in await interaction dot channel dot send. And content is going to be I've been clicked. Just like that. And we're done. However, we need to do one more thing. We need to actually get the bot to display the button. And uh, to do that, we are going to make a slash command here. So make sure that um, your bot is syncing those commands. And what we can do here is we can just type in await client.tree.sync. And we can go ahead and make our slash command. So at client.tree.command. And then we can go ahead and give it a name. So name is going to be button menu. And then we can go ahead and make the command like normal. So let's sync the button menu. And then we're going to pass an interaction. interaction. And then we're going to indent. And then we can type in await interaction dot response dot send message and then in here we're going to pass some content which will be 
here my button menu whoops and then we need to pass in a view object and then uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass the name of our class so it's test menu button just like that so that way we can access this class of buttons here and uh, we're pretty much done but we're gonna add two more buttons so we're just gonna copy this you know because why not and uh, this one gonna make green and this one gonna make red now i'm gonna name this one test one two and then test three this one's gonna say click me dot 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 and we are going to make this one say this here and then this one's gonna be exit so this, is, this is just going to be an exit button. Exiting menu. And then uh, actually, you would actually just have a delete the uh, embed for your help command if that's what you were doing and whatnot. But I'm not really going to do that in this video. But uh, yep, so we added two more buttons. One green and one red. And then of course we still have our blurple button that just says test. And uh, we're done, so let's go ahead and run this code. Uh, we shouldn't have any errors at all. And we look to be good, so I'm gonna go ahead and just type in slash menu. And uh, yeah, it's a slash button menu, and here is our button menu. So we have test, click me, and exit. So let's go ahead and try the test one here. And uh, it does exactly what we uh, wanted it to do, so it just sends I've been clicked. Now, I am not sure why it actually says this interaction has failed, even though it has done what we wanted it to do. Uh, if one of you guys can figure that out and uh, tell me in the comments or in my Discord server, that would be awesome. I, I don't really know why it says that. However, I mean, it's doing what we wanted it to do, so I'm going to assume this is not really an issue and that's just a weird bug. But uh, let's go ahead and try the click me one, and uh, it does what we want it to do, and you guys should definitely do that. And then here's the exit button. Now this doesn't actually exit anything, this is just an example. And as you can see it says exiting menu, and it's going to say this interaction has failed, I don't know why. But you can also spam click these if you want, although it does take some time. So, um, yeah. So that's pretty much it for how to actually make buttons. Again, if you guys want me to um, make a follow-up video on how to, um, you know, do some more complex commands with these buttons, uh, just let me know and I will. And uh, yeah, so if you've had any problems with your code or if you just want to hang out with us, join my Discord server. We are currently at 250 members, guys. And if you enjoyed videos like this and you want to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications, just like YT underscore bot has told you. And uh, yeah, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.